All right, we've been jibber jabbering for three minutes and thirty nine seconds. Do you think I edit this all out or just leave it in? Leave it. You think I should? It's funny. A three minute and forty nine second video uh, clip. You did a good job. You did a perfect job. I like it. Good. Job. Hi, Troy, Lisa, Troy, Lisa, Troy, Lisa. Don't, get rejected. You, I got rejected. <laughs> they rejected. got rejected, man. They didn't say anything. <laughs> How rude. What do you think? My ankle hurts. My everything hurts. <laughs> should we try it, though? Yeah. All right. Probably should. This is going to hurt. Look, Paige, I'm ice skating. <laughs> I'm like super cool. I'm like the coolest person at. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you want to see me do a spin? Do a spin. You are the coolest person I know. I thought I was. I'm, of course, I'm the coolest. You're the coolest. Hello, sweet love. How are you up there? Are you safe? I'm not. BPI Skating Rink in Sioux City, Iowa. We're up here celebrating Troy's birthday. And we're skating. And I'm not dying. As of yet, I'm still alive. I do have muscles hurting that I never thought I had. Right, Paige? What? Nothing? Okay. We're like going super fast. Super fast. That man is very mean. You're very mean, Pedro. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah, watch. Watch. We do spins. <laughs> you pull me now. I stay still, you pull. This is how this works now. I have slaves. Uh-huh. <laughs> Try! Hi! Lisa! Hi! Is so I'm like super fast. We gotta slow down a little bit here. Go, Troy, go! You have to lead me! <laughs> Well, if you didn't hear it, like I said before, I think I'm ready for the Olympics. Oh my God. Truck driver, to boring old YouTuber, to the Olympics. Hey, Canada's calling. See the Canada flag back there? Yeah. They're calling my name. <laughs> they want me to play for the Buccaneers or whatever team. <laughs> I don't even know what hockey teams are up there. You guys have really big ones. They're like all hockey up there. Pretty sure at this point my feet are bleeding. Kind of fun. No, it's Troy's birthday party. We were gonna go out here and do this last weekend, but it got all snowed in. Right now it's a whopping 35 degrees out. It's dark in 35, so we're hitting another heat wave. The Mighty Ducks. I think the Mighty Ducks hockey team might accept me. I'm pretty good now. I'm scared of what this is going to look like, Tater. Yours is stuck on your foot? Yeah. Mine, mine might be. There might be enough blood in this boot to where it, it won't come off. Oh, crap. It won't come off. <laughs> How do you get these things off? Do you like my sockies? Oh, beautiful socks, Tater. Beautiful. You know the good part about driving around with a camper on the back of your pickup? You, you never not remember where you parked. You can see it everywhere. Well, that was fun. Painful, but fun. You get to work the muscles, work the bones, or work the muscles that you, you, you usually never work. Ever. Ever, ever. No blisters. We're still good there.
hell, maybe one of these days I will upgrade to one of those fancy electronic or electric or battery eyes. There you go. Battery eyes, doggers. But today's not that day. We survived the ice skating. My body actually isn't that sore. I'm kind of surprised. Right now we're out at the farm pond seeing if we can catch a little bit of fish. 46 degrees out right now. So this is nice. Yeah, where Troy's at right now is dirt in December. In December. It's February. That's how much rain we've gotten this winter. Yeah, the ponds will be in good shape this spring. Well, we had one big snow, and that thawed. And then we rained. Big rain. Then it snowed again. That thawed. And, got this snow. and then we got the cold. And then the snow we're on right now. I see you got the big green machine going. Yeah, it's plugged, so. What? I got a plug following. Yep, yep, got her going. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Well, go make friends with cows. We're heading out. You're driving? Yeah. Alrighty, buddy. What do you want? Go get the gate. Did you just tell me to go get the gate? They're passing there. Oh. Well, that's why they call it fishing and not catching fish. With the rain, snow, cold, rain, snow, cold, cold, it's kind of messing with uh, the fish a little bit. I'm thinking it's about time to head for uh, Wisconsin. We have some friends up there that have invited us up to go do some pike fishing. Come on, buddy. Go do some pike fishing up there. I'm thinking it's about time to go up there. With all this warm weather, the snow we're in right now, it's not gonna be fun getting out of here. That's why I got Troy driving the beast here. It'll make it through it, as long as the boy doesn't put us in the ditch. And if he does put us in the ditch, we'll just drive out. <laughs> Alright, once we get around this bend up here, here's the thing you got to remember. With the snow like this, you want to keep a momentum going. But on the same note, you don't want to go too fast. Because you have a 11,000 pound pickup here, and I don't want to break things. Okay? See how smooth it is right here? And then it's going to get deeper. And harder so it's gonna try grabbing you and moving you around and you're gonna want a little bit more momentum than this though there you go that's good that's good you want to you want to be able to react have time to react when it does grab you and shove you somewhere you don't want to go see keep your wheel straight all right there you go there you go counter steer it and those video games are teaching you something here we go, you gotta make it up this now. There we go. All right, momentum can slow down a little bit because we gotta get through a gate hole or a valley right here. That's some good counter steering there, I'm proud of you. The go-kart taught me that. The go-kart taught you? Cool. Feel it grabbing you though? Yeah. That's the dually. That's the dually aspect. Those back wheels are out there all by themselves. Alright, go ahead and shut the four wheel drive off. I think we're going to go ahead and unlock the hubs too. We don't need to have them locked in. Plus we still have that uh, 
knuckle up here that's bad. You're not covered in mud, are you? No? Okay. Back up. What? <laughs> what? You're just mad because you guys didn't get to go for a ride. I'm sorry, but you guys are babies. I <laughs> uh, no, you're babies. You'd freeze to death out there. They would too, wouldn't they, Troy? The dogs. They'd freeze. They don't like their paws cold. They really, really don't like cold paws. Oh, this is bad. He's talking back to me. Paige? What? What am I getting you? A box of Rice Krispie Treats and two bags of marshmallow, mini marshmallows. Mini marshmallows? Yeah, if you want more Rice Krispie bars in the future, then you need to get two boxes of Rice Krispie Treats. It's one bag. You only need five cups of marshmallows. I don't use the same recipe. I know you don't. That's why I'm listening to you and not your mother. I'm gonna... I do good Mark Rice Krispies. You have been in your robe all day. You just <laughs> chill. Relaxing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so one box of Rice Krispies, two bags of marshmallows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Troy. Troy. Huh. Do you want to drive it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you want to drive Mama's car? <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> too bad, so sad. Yeah, too bad, so sad. Oh, she's not even recognizing that, I, that I'm jumping in the passenger seat. I didn't brush my hair, just put on the hat. <laughs> Bad hair day? No, I just put on, I didn't brush my hair. Oh, okay. Stop doing your hair. It's time to drive. <laughs> Don't worry about your stupid hair. Put your windshield wipers on. You got water running all the way down it. Just put it on delay. I don't know how to do it. Turn once. There you go. Don't touch it, just turn it. Turn, stop. Okay. All right, now let's go down to the grocery store. It's technology. Now driving this thing's gonna be a lot different than anything you've ever driven. This thing's brand new. And the steering wheel's on fire. Yeah, shut the steering wheel off. Pedals are going to be very much more sensitive. This thing churns sharp, rides like a lumber wagon, but let's go. It's got one of those things too. Well, you think you don't, but these things don't really have the best sight of view all the way around them. They get pretty brutal to where you can't see and you have Look to use the camera. Radius. Oh, yeah, this thing will turn Let's on a dime. again. Yeah, it's on delay. Mom cracked the windshield. No, oh, she didn't. Do you want me to shut it off? Delay? No. Because okay. you still have water running down it. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, wait till wait till we get outside of town sometime and I tell you to put it to the floor. <laughs> You've been driving a diesel way too long. Diesels are diesels are unless you spool them up, they don't take off. Nothing like one of these little gassers. You hit the, the paddle and you're gone. Well, I don't know what you guys heard, but Tater Tot's gonna make me some Rice Krispie bars, the good ones. If you've been following a little bit, you know that the wife has tried making them and they're rock hard. But Sarah was uh, throwing snow or trying to be rambunctious on our way out. So I just said, you know what? Troy's going to drive her car. She's kind of temperamental on who drives her Jeep. You're doing pretty good. The big There's a huge difference between driving a gas and driving a diesel. First thing he said is, in the diesel and the pickup, all he has to do is just let up on the accelerator and the dually and it slows down. It's like the brakes are always on. They're not. It's just a one-ton dually. It has a camper on the back and it weighs 11,000 pounds versus this thing doesn't even weigh 4,000 pounds. But uh, it's pretty nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm, barely have to touch the brakes. You know, at the, end, at the end of the day, it's pretty nice. It rides like a lumber wagon, though. Would yes. you quit trying to do it's your hair? Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Hi Grandpa. What are you doing? <laughs> You could have stopped and said hi to him. <laughs> Lord. I go chips. Chips? Okay.
Apparently these are gold, so handle with care. Did you know it's the shortest kind of bird flu? That's what I hear. Short turkeys. That's what the government I wants mean, you to I know, mean, man. Chickens. That's what the government wants you to know. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Realistically, they just want to sell more eggs. <laughs> Six bags, $81.82. You know what? I probably shouldn't have bought those eggs. Why? Well, I ordered some eggs and bacon from the Amish. <laughs> from that look on your face. What? We have Amish, or I forgot what they're called, the Amish that aren't completely Amish. Nuns? Mennonite. Dude, really? Nuns? No, Mennonites. Mennonites. We have some up in South Dakota, which isn't too far from us. And, uh, um, I know somebody that is hooking me up with some eggs and some bacon from the Amish. Isn't this good? I just, we're gonna see. Tomorrow I'm gonna stop and grab them. Let's go home. Yep. We're gonna try the Amish time. Amish, their eggs, um, a dozen is like a buck eighty nine or two ninety nine oh, something yeah. in there. It's cheap. Yeah. I just hope they're good eggs. These eggs we buy down here, they're not good eggs. They're not good eggs. I don't I'm not saying I'm a farm only egg kind of guy. I'm not. But the eggs down here just aren't the best. They're feedlot eggs. I'm fine with feedlot eggs. Like uh, I think it's far best. Whatever we picked up last time when we were at No Frills, I liked their eggs. By the way, I haven't been eating eggs for years. I don't eat much of eggs at all. And ever since everybody's talking about eggs, guess what I eat all the time? Eggs. All the time. All the time. That's all I eat is eggs now because that's all I hear whenever I bring up anything social media. So whoever says there's a shortage of eggs, they're making a good deal because I'm buying them like crazy now. Whoa. This guy, it's a new pedal. I'm used new to your pedal. dually heels. Yeah. Used to older vehicles. You know, I told Paige, I go, hey, if I die, just to let you know, since I don't have a will, he just will give all the vehicles to Troy. All my vehicles to Troy. And she goes, well, I kind of have to, Dad. All your vehicles are super old, and I don't know how to maintain them. <laughs> I'm like, really? They're super old? They're not really that old. I got a 2005. 1999, 1979, 1982. If they're in the 1900s, that's considered old. And then a 1999 semi. And how is that? Hey, my, my motorcycle, it's a 2018. That's new. That's new. Yeah, I, I got a new motorcycle. I remember when you bought it, I was there. Oh, you were there when I bought mm -hmm. the Harley, weren't you? Mm -hmm. These because are we weren't expecting to get a new Harley. No, I wasn't going to get a new Harley. But your mom said we need something more reliable. Because Natasha, my old Harley, kept breaking down on us. And she goes, we do a lot of traveling on that motorcycle. So we need something more reliable. So then they all told me to buy a new Harley. And I said, no, I don't want a new Harley. Then I went and bought a new Harley. And they're like, oh my gosh, you bought a new Harley? It's the same Harley I've had for what? Since 2018. It's the one and only vehicle I've ever bought brand new. And that will be my one and only vehicle I ever buy brand new. I will never buy a new pickup. Why you buy this one? This isn't mine. This is Mama's Jeep. Who bought it? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Alright. We've been jibber jabbering for 3 minutes and 39 seconds. Do you think I'll edit this all out or just leave it in? Leave it. You think I should? It's funny. A three minute and 49 second video uh, clip. You did a good job. You did a perfect job. I like it. Good parking. They're not going to be nice and soft, right? Yeah. Good. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Okay. Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to melt some of those? No, those are the add-ins, so they're like the big chunky ones in the middle. I don't like those. Whatever you made last time, this that's all I want. This is what I made last time. Okay, that's all I want. They're, they're called the home style ones. Oh, okay. 
And I gotta make sure I don't miss any pockets. What's in your hand? What's in your hand? I made. You're trying to smuggle some Rice Krispie bars out of this house? No, you just accused me of getting them. Where, I made them. They're where, mine. Where are they going? <laughs> to my significant other. You think your boyfriend thinks thinks you need some of those? I bought the goods. I made them. You I bought the goods. <laughs> and now you're trying to smuggle them out? I'm not. Do you see this? This does not look like smuggling. Smuggling would be more like a... No. This is just out in the open taking. Right in front of your face. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got my Rice Krispie bars. I'm happy. It's, 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 it's a rather large one though. Today's video, nothing but fun. Family fun, that's all it was. I did get pretty good at ice skating. I, I think I could go pros. Yeah. Yeah, I think I should go pro. Give up everything and go pro. Quit looking at me like that. You're judging me. <laughs> you guys stay safe. As always, I'll see you next time. What do you think you're doing? Eating rice krispies. Those are mine. Actually, that was on my plate. That was. You seriously just grabbed that off my plate. You lose, you lose. My plate is on my, in my hand with my dog in the background. And you just grabbed it off my plate. And what did I just say before that? <laughs>